That's the opposite of what ambulances are for. <laughs> ambulances are supposed to help people! <laughs> Welcome back to Devil May Cry 5. We lied. Yeah. It was after, you know, a hard 10 minute deliberation that we just. Not really. We just took a break. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now we're back with some more Devil May Cry. Yeah. Time to fight some devils. I guess that is actually what you're fighting. It's not like Star Wars where you just wore the stars. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait till we do uh, our Let's Play with No. I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. Mm. It's probably gonna take a while, though. <laughs> yeah, that's mostly on me, too. <laughs> it's all good. We just need to be able to afford a good computer. At least, a good laptop. Well, at the very least, we just need me to be able to afford internet. Yeah. And then, uh, we'll see how it goes from there. We'll see how it goes from there. Nell's got a good, uh, headset, doesn't she? Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure we all went shopping for one before we... Yeah, yeah, now I remember. That's when I bought, uh, that Photoshop element that didn't have Photoshop in it. Yeah! Yeah! Also, don't buy regular, uh, regular Photoshop elements. Mm-hmm. It does not come with Photoshop, weirdly enough. Mm-hmm. And we were looking for a uh, premiere anyway, so... Well, we weren't looking for a premiere then. Oh, okay, we just thought that it might come with both, is what it was. Ah! Yeah, because I think we were just looking for Photoshop for thumbnails, and then eventually we were just like, yep, GIMP's better. Mm -hmm. Because we got a heck of a deal on a photo editor that comes with Red Eye, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. Just 150 bucks. <laughs> that's what that video, that's what that photo editor's worth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. I still think it's really funny. After we got Premiere, I found a post that's just like, yo, Adobe's so expensive, I compiled a list of everything that Adobe does, but for free. Mm. I'm just like, thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I do like Premiere, though. Premiere is a really good video editor. It is. I'm glad that uh, we got our money's worth out of it, at the very least. Mm -hmm. I didn't pay anything on that. Did I? <laughs> it's not stolen. It's not stolen. <laughs> uh, we got a gift. Got it gifted to us. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Yeah. But, like, $500? No. Three. $300? It's expensive. I don't... Like, if I had to pay for that, I don't know if I would be so... Lie. <laughs> for it? Yeah. Because, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of things that can edit videos. Because, mm -hmm. like, uh, one of the things I am happy about is that I don't think you can get all up there. It doesn't look like it, no. Yeah, it looked like there was an invisible wall. I just wonder why, you know? Yeah, probably because you're not supposed to go there. Hey, don't go making sense on me now. <laughs> okay, time to answer that call. Mm -hmm. Hello? <laughs> I mean, don't you do that? Every time you just come across any ringing phone, you answer it? Yeah. Last time, Mothman called me, and that was not a good time. Uh, I got... I made someone really mad when I worked overnight. Yeah. Because someone was training me, and they had their phone off in the corner, and it started ringing, and so I looked at it, and I said, Oh, so-and-so's calling you. Because mm. that's just what I've always done. Mm -hmm. Whenever... And they're like, why the hell... Oh, I can control him. <laughs> yeah. Oops. It's what I've always done. Mm -hmm. And I'm not actually gonna visit. I just wanted to see that cutscene. Oh, shit! <laughs> not... not uh, did you, are you actually gonna do things? No. Yeah. I didn't actually want to. <laughs> okay, that, that seemed like one of those things of I'm not actually gonna do that. Just kidding! No, uh... I was just trying to jump on the van. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. It's the same button. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> How do you like those load screens for the first four minutes? Mm -hmm. That's that's what we are. Uh, we'll, let's play load screens. Are you ready for a boss fight? Yeah! Let's see if you get your ass kicked immediately <laughs> like the first time. Yeah! <laughs> or if, you know, because it only took you two tries, and the second try you just trivialized him. Mm -hmm. 
Also, another good thing they took from DMC. Yeah! Mm hmm Somebody call an ambulance? <laughs> oh no! I wonder if Yoshikage Kira's okay. <laughs> That's the opposite of what ambulances are for. Ambulances are supposed to help people! Hmm. Uh, sorry guys, have you ever watched JoJo? Yeah, no, I think everyone's watched JoJo. <laughs> no. Aside from all of our friends. Aside from all of our friends. Some of our friends have watched JoJo. <laughs> yeah, the ones we made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, aside from one, we actually don't have a name to call him on the channel. The Empire. I don't know. His name is also the name of an empire. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he just watched it on his own. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's 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 a good friend. Yeah, very fun to play Smash Bros yeah. with. I miss you, buddy. Yeah, I miss you. Why do you have to live all the way across the state? Yeah. Uh, I wonder if it is cool to call call his name out in public. I'll have to ask him. Mm-hmm. Uh, if it is, I'm sure we'll bring him up someday. <laughs> yeah, especially you know if we ever get on a conversation of Smash Bros, mm -hmm. Yu-Gi-Oh. Just like anything slightly competitive. Yeah. Clubs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Let me grab my belly. <laughs> Why is that such a popular thing? Because I hate it so much. Having a belly mouth? Yeah. I don't know. I know that, uh. That, uh, Heihachi Mishima, his dad has a mouth for his belly and he shoots a laser out of it. Mm hmm. Uh, man, what's. God, I can't remember the Digimon. He's a vampire boy. Okay. And uh, he evolved Digivolves into a bigger vampire boy who has fur legs. Okay. And he has a mouth on his dick. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Uh, there's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I forget what it's called, but it has a uh, dragon head on its dick, and it just looks silly. Uh, <laughs> is it Mistress of D? No, it's not Mistress of D. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mistress of D actually looks pretty normal. Yeah, she does. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's like a big old monster, like, kinda looking like Obelisk, but instead of blue, it's just pitch black. It's got a dragon dick for... yeah. Uh, there was a Yu-Gi-Oh card that when I was a kid, I called it the absolute wrong thing, and I don't remember what it was. Yeah. But it was just wrong. Okay. It was like the Arby's Lady. Something. You just called it the Arby's Lady? Yeah. Okay. And I'm pretty sure it was actually the Mistress, the mistress of D. Okay. Uh, I miss playing Yu-Gi-Oh, but at the same time, I do not like competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. As much as uh, I... On Dueling Network, I wouldn't say troll, because I just wanted to use this deck so that I could get uh, the Summon Skull skin, or card skin as quick as possible, but I made an Exodia deck that ended, oh, shit. That ended up actually being a competitively viable uh, Exodia deck. Because mm -hmm. uh, our friend Durst is like, did you look up uh, Dark World Exodia? And I was like, nah, I just looked up every card that had the word draw in it. <laughs> Uh, for reference, the deck was the five pieces of Exodia, and then every other card was something that made me draw. Mm -hmm. Which... And the Day of Peace or whatever. Well, one Day of Peace does make you draw. Oh, okay. Yeah, one Day of Peace, both people draw, and you can't do damage for an entire turn. Uh, it's good that that's limited to one, because, you know, if you had three Days of Peace, um, then, well, basically the deck just wins, because you... With that deck, you deck out in three turns. That's the maximum time it takes. But I mean, most decks are OTK, and since there's no monsters, it's pretty easy to just have a pretty early setup to defeat the Dark World Exodia deck. But a lot of people on Dueling Network like to have those decks that are very complicated with a lot of setup. Ooh, that was a good dodge! Yeah, you dodged into some health and everything. Oh, that wasn't a good one. Yeah, that was a pretty bad dodge. I'm sorry guys, I'm not a real gamer. <laughs> it's all good. Taking the conversation back to uh, Digimon, the Digimon Cyber Sleuth is getting a re-release. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Which, it's kind of funny because I, I saw it at GameStop <laughs> for like yeah. 20 bucks. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, I didn't grab that health. <laughs> yeah, you probably need that. Well, you're... 
you're doing sort of an in-between. You're not schooling him as much as your second playthrough, and you're not, you know, dying as quickly as your first. Well, I, it's impossible to die as quickly as my first now. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Well, my first, I died actually immediately. Yeah. But, uh... Anyways, back to Cyber Sleuth. I saw it at GameStop for like 20 bucks, and I was just considering buying it before I saw that it's getting re-released. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know you were interested in it. Yeah, like I like uh, the Digimon World games. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of Digimon games I really like. Uh, I mean, I haven't played Digimon as much as I've played Pokemon, but <laughs> the games that I have played I really like. All right. Mm -hmm. um, I only played one, it was Digimon World Arena, mm -hmm. and it was garbage. Yeah, I think I was playing Digimon World Dawn or something, Digimon World 2 Dawn. Uh, it was one of those ones that had sort of the Pokemon thing, mm -hmm. where there's two different versions. Oh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Tamers was that one anime. Yeah! Mm -hmm. uh, it was also... Digimon V Tamers was a manga that actually predates the anime. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, well, time for some instant death. Nope. Yeah? I had to burn an arm. Okay, just, just... Does it instantly kill you if you don't burn an arm there? No, you just take a shit ton of damage. Gotcha. <laughs> He's a very angry boy. He is. It's because a little boy hit a beat him with just a sling. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, his name's Goliath. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't time that. You know, thinking about it, David and Goliath, you know, it's like, Goliath was prob- I think, uh, he was, what, seven feet tall or something? Yeah, a giant in those days. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, a good old rock to the head will still kill him. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised that they let David bring in the sling. That's kind of cheating in a one-on-one -on -one combat. Well, I believe, uh, Goliath signed off on it, even. Yeah, I mean, he's just like, look at this little lad. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> he, he was a kid, and even small for a kid, wasn't he? Uh, or was he just a kid? I think he was just a kid. Okay. And Goliath's like, this guy will never be king someday, right? <laughs> yeah! Mm-hmm. King, who knows of a King David? Mm-hmm. Then again, you know, uh, that is mostly a, a more religious thing of people knowing King David. Grief. Yeah, fair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I forget how religious I grew up, honestly. Yeah? Yeah, like, I think of it just as everybody grew up like that. But no, I used to collect Bibles and read the differences in them for what I thought was fun. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly. One of the most, like, one of the Bibles that I had that was most similar to, uh, what we were taught in mm -hmm. actual decent things in a Bible was a comic book. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it did a really good job of laying out the verses and teaching the lessons. Got rid of that whole slavery and yeah. those things. Yeah, you know, allowing to sell your daughter to other people. Yeah, didn't have that for some reason, but... Had, you know, people like to skip over that anyways. Yeah. Had the story of Samson in it, and that's a good read. Uh, skipped over a good part of Cain and Abel, yeah. which is a shame. That's one of my favorite books. Mm -hmm. Genesis has a lot of fun things in it. Mm -hmm. Um... But yeah, I just like studying all sorts of different mythologies. Like, I remember I was actually pretty excited when the MCU announced Thor, because I was like, yeah, some Norse stuff. But, like, the Thor movies overall are still pretty loose on Norse mythology. Yeah! Mm. Uh, I mean, they just made Loki into a prick, and, you know, he's kind of a prick in Norse mythology. I mean, yeah. Uh, some reason one of his kids is a wolf. Mm-hmm. And another one is... Wait. A snake. Yeah. Yeah, that's biting into Egistril. Yeah. That's where you get Nidhogg, which is little bug things, the little Nidhoggs. Yeah! Mm-hmm. Those are Nidhogg hatchlings. Mm-hmm. I always forget whether or not the name of the snake is Nidhogg, or if that's just the bark that's been poisoned by the snake. It is not the name of the snake. Okay, it's not the name of the snake. Uh... I was just watching a video talking about Pokemon and mm. uh, North mythology, because apparently that's a running theme lately. Yeah, because uh, X and Y and uh, 
Zygarde is supposed to... I think Zygarde is a different snake, not the one biting into the roots of Yggdrasil. Yeah, but they bring that boy up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zygarde is the world snake. Mm -hmm. Focus on the mission. Uh, but anyway, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, I brought this up, conversation up, because I didn't know what it's called, and I have nowhere to take it because I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Okay, so let's just change conversation because, like, I don't have anywhere to, else to go off of that. I was just saying that overall a lot of my knowledge of religious things is just o due to my interest in different mythologies. Yeah. Like, uh, I've been trying to learn more about, like, modern paganism, and it's pretty interesting, actually. All right. Mm hmm Uh, I always wanted to, like, ever since I was young, I wanted to, like, buy... All sorts of different holy texts. Mm-hmm. Uh, and my parents wouldn't let me because they were convinced that that would make it so that I wouldn't be a good Christian boy. Mm-hmm. My dad's Lutheran, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Uh... Wait, I thought... So your parents aren't Catholic? <laughs> my mom is. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, split into two groups. But, yeah, so... I wanted to buy all these different things and just... No, no, it, it, you can get, like protestant bibles and things like that but it has to be bibles mm -hmm. and I'm like okay so I, I can't get like the and so the satanic bible is still called the bible funnily enough mm -hmm. uh but they caught on to that one real quick yeah mm -hmm. funnily enough i had a better chance of getting the anarchist cookbook than i did a different type of holy text mm -hmm. Because I just, as a joke, one Christmas they asked what I wanted. And I'm like, oh yeah, can I get the anarchist cookbook? And they're like, what is that? And my dad's just like, oh, it's just some comedy book. And no. No. It's, it teaches you things. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Like, and the biggest thing it taught me is that it's all so easy. <laughs> like, it's stupid. Yeah. But, uh. Anyways, I'm not going to go over any of that here. Yeah, I think that might actually be a breach of terms of service. Oh, yeah? At least discuss... I don't know if discussing the Anarchist Cookbook, but at least discussing what it teaches you, mm -hmm. that might be a breach of terms of service. Aside from saying that the original one was very communist-inspired. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, that's actually the reason why it was made was to promote communism in the United States. Hmm. So there was a bit of validity and red panic back in those days. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and this is also a fun fact. It was made by a professor at, I want to say, Yale. Okay. And uh, he was fired because he didn't even use a false name. Yeah. And apparently he had to leave the country to find another job. Okay. I mean, that's fair. Because of Red Panic. <laughs> mm-hmm. And also he was teaching a bunch of children how to make bombs and such. Yeah, that that's a good reason why you wanted to give that person a job. I was actually thinking uh, it might be a bit short, but did you want to call the upset here? You know, that's fair. I don't think we can finish this in time. Yeah, no. All right, so, bye. Bye.